the one with the rifle gets killed. The one who is following picks up the rifle and shoots. Welcome to the 13th episode of the Pick Up the Rifle and Shoot series featuring my 1955 Chinese Type 53. The Type 53 is not as well known as the original Russian M44 Mosin Nagant, but it is still a very well built licensed copy with a few slight differences. The Type 53 has been used in numerous wars and conflicts, but none other than the Vietnam War did it get such notoriety, and that's where I like to think my Type 53 was primarily used judging by her appearance. She looks badly abused, beat up, but looks can be very deceiving. And it's still I handled and shot her that I can honestly say she is my favorite Mosin de Gaunt pattern rifle. So here she is, my 1955 Chinese Type 53. I acquired her from a private collector and she still had traces of cosmoline throughout. After a deep clean, she revealed her inner beauty. Her bore was very shiny and bright, with strong rifling from the chamber all the way up to the clean and crisp crown. Rust was non-existent, and surprisingly, there was no pitting under the wood line. I'll go over her in more detail, but first let's make sure she's all clear. First up is the matching stock made of the chew wood that actually has held up despite her appearance. It is what makes this rifle so unique, a true quote unquote battlefield pickup, and I could only imagine how she got this way. Next is the receiver. Up top, you can see the Chinese Type 53 markings of the year, factory, and serial number. On the left side, has the import mark for Century Arms and their serial number. In the bottom, the magazine fork plate matches the receiver. On the business end, the front side was actually staked on and took quite a bit of force to break free. I moved the front side left about flush with the base and she shoots now dead on with the bayonet folded. She did however shoot dead on with it extended, but I prefer to shoot with it folded for obvious reasons. Now let's flip her on to the other side. Here's another view of the stock and the end plate which matches the receiver. I just love how the stock looks, it's so much character. Next is the bolt, and unfortunately it doesn't match but it works extremely well and headspace perfectly with the barrel. I do want to note that I have no issues with sticky bolt even when shooting continuously, and I'm sure the Howling Raven firing pin spring that I put on from Drex Outdoors had a part in it. It made the bolt a lot easier to manipulate. I have over 200 rounds with their spring with no issues, and I highly recommend it. Overall, I am very happy with my Chinese Type 53, and I can only say she is my favorite Mosin Nagan pattern rifle. She shoots extremely well at short and long distances, and being a carbine length makes her easier to maneuver as you'll see in the Texas Kalashnikov match. Now let's get on with the shooting. Off to the 25 yard range.
With my Mosins, I always zero out 25 yards, center mass, point of aim, point of impact with the rear sight at 2. To my surprise, the elevation was spot on, and I only had to move the front sight to the left to hit center, since I'm shooting with the bayonet folded. After the sight adjustment, I proceeded to shoot 5 rounds to confirm my zero. All five rounds hit well into the center. So far, so good. Now let's see how she does at 200 yards. With the sights untouched for my 25 yard zero, I proceeded to shoot five rounds using a six o'clock hole. The target I'm using is the NRA C 200 yard target, which has a 13 inch black circle. I also put a shoot and see 12 inch circle target so I can see my hits on my spotting scope. I looked through my spotting scope and later confirmed a 5.5 inch group. I'm very impressed, especially with my first outing at 200 yards. Now let's load up another 5 rounds. In my opinion, 10 rounds gives the shooter the best measure of what their rifle is capable of and what they're capable of, and 5 rounds just isn't enough.
As you can see, three of the rounds hit the same area from the first group, and with that data, I could conclude that my 1955 Chinese Type 53 can do 3.08 MOA at 200 yards with the ammo that I'm using. Uli 7.62 by 54 r 148 grain steel case. Shooting 10 rounds gives me an honest measurement of my capability with the ammo that I'm using. I will measure 8 out of 10 rounds, 80%, allowing 2 for shooter errors and flyers. Now, let's see how she did at Texas Kalashnikov, Comrade Irons Division. For this match, I used my original Chinese chess rig made for the Type 53 and original Russian moves and stripper clips. Let's get on with the shooting. This first clip is for my stage 1 called Shoot House Hearts and Steel. At the beep, engage targets as you see them, 2 hits to neutralize the cardboard heart targets, and 1 hit to neutralize the 4 inch steel target about 32 yards away. So far, so good until I reach the second window position for the steel target. Now, I don't recommend shooting a Mosin in a barrel with a hole in it, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Shot after shot created a concussion blast back towards me, causing disorientation and temporary hearing loss. That blast was even strong enough to snap the wood marker for the shooting position. Hit the rock just under it. Bring it up just a tad. Cut your losses. It's a 10 second penalty. Hit! Or not. Thank God I hit it on the fifth round after my reload. I was ready to take a penalty if I didn't. I respect it. There's no hate. I was still a little disoriented after, but I was able to neutralize the remaining targets and even with a hand slip on my last reload. If shooter's done, unload show clear. This next clip is from my stage 2, Red Car. Starting with both hands on a wheel, at the beep, retrieve your weapon in the trunk, load and move to the left or right barricade and shoot the steel once from each of the three marked positions. Then move to the other barricade and repeat. Let's see how it went. Unfortunately, the first steel target fell, and I just shot it where it lay. Uh oh. Oh man, target's broken. All right, what's the next target? Then I moved on to the second barricade and neutralized the steel three for three. This last clip is from my stage 3 mover. Starting loaded in the box, at the beep, put two rounds in each of the brown moving targets, then move forward and neutralize the remaining targets along the berm. Let's see how it went. Stand by. Oh, 
Now, this is where it gets interesting. The spent case didn't completely eject, and racking the bolt forward, the next round wedge didn't stuck. I dropped the magazine latch, took a round out, and tried to knock it off using the rim. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Fortunately, the RO gave me his knife, and I was able to yank it out. Soviet engineering at the time. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. I closed the magazine latch, shot one round, then single loaded the last one to finish the stage. If you're finished on lunch, you're clear. For the Comrade Irons Division, I placed last. But on the bright side, I was surprised I was able to run my Type 83 the way I did. My stripper clip reloads went smooth, and I was able to hit my targets. With all the other divisions combined, I placed 64 out of 65 total competitors. This is the consequence of bolt actions. Definitely obsolete for this type of shooting. But damn, did I have a lot of fun. And I will not hesitate to do it again. So there you have it. My 1955 Chinese Type 53. Not only capable of shooting for groups, but also in a match with a lot of running and gunning. She is my favorite Mosin Gun pattern rifle that I own, and after running her through TK, I feel confident that I can use her when the shit hits the fan. Well, on second thought, I'll just grab my AK instead. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.